Hydrogen is a student team and we believe that hydrogen is essential for a sustainable future. And we aim to promote hydrogen technology by showing its real potential in racing. My, uh, my name is Koen Tonaar and uh, I'm the team manager of uh, Forza Hydrogen Racing. Well, Forza started back in 2007 actually, uh, because a group of students, they had a vision and they wanted to, uh, to make sustainability exciting again. So they thought, yeah, what's more exciting than a race? A year later, in 2008, the, uh, the Forza One was born and uh, yeah, that was the first hydrogen powered racing vehicle. Well, after the adventure with the Forza One, a new team took over uh, and they built a new vehicle and that was the Forza Two. And it was amazing, but uh, yeah, it was also had its challenges. Uh, back when they wanted to race in Turin, uh, they, they had a crash, but then uh, in 20 minutes they uh, fixed the car all up and uh, they were at the starting line in time. After this, the, the Forza Three was built. Uh, and yeah, there was a new generation. They noticed it was uh, getting quite hard to iterate further upon the, the go-kart concept. So uh, that's when they decided to take on a new challenge and uh, really step it up. Uh, so they entered the Formula Student competition. Uh, yeah, so they entered as the first hydrogen powered vehicle in there. Uh, and they even achieved a, a record on the 8th mile at uh, just over 10 seconds with that. So with the Forza 4 they got a bit comfortable in this technology, this new class. Uh, so they decided to, uh, yeah, to improve upon this concept a lot more and uh, they uh, decided to build the Forza 5. And the Forza 5, uh, yeah, it was a big step up, so they uh, participated in a lot more races and uh, got more successes with it. My name is Jan Bot, I'm one of the drivers of the Forza Hydrogen Racing Team. The F5 was built for the Formula Student Competition. Uh, the races are only 15 minutes. And during that year we figured out that hydrogen really makes sense in applications where you need a lot of energy for a long time. Uh, therefore we decided to dream big and that's where the plans for the F6 came about. It was really an experimental car, we had to figure out a lot of stuff on our own, uh, which had not been done previously. And the whole fuel system had to be made from scratch. Um, it was basically 10 times as, uh, as powerful as the Forza 5. Um, and also our partners had to develop a lot of uh, systems with us. So it was a real challenge for everybody. Uh, it took a lot longer than expected and a lot of people um, outside of the team uh, were starting to become skeptical because uh, uh, if you aim high there's also a chance of failure. And um, yeah, in the end uh, we figured out how to make it work. I admire the work of the Forza team. Uh, because a new generation is busy to uh, finding solutions. And you can see here in Delft how enthusiastic people are about the project. It's great. Uh, we had one problem though, and that was that the, the racing competition, which we originally envisioned, uh, didn't exist anymore. Um, so we had to find an alternative goal for the car. And we found out that, uh, that there was a lab record on the Nürburgring. And we figured out that if we wanted to prove that we had the fastest hydrogen electric race car in the world, that we should break that record. Um, so yeah, we called in a famous racing driver, Jan Lammers. Um, so then uh, we got really excited. It was also really frightening because the Nürburgring is one of the most uh, challenging tracks in the, in the world. And um, yeah, we, we hoped that our baby could, uh, could achieve and that, uh, uh, that it would stay together during the, during the laps. And uh, yeah, in the end, uh, we achieved it, and uh, yeah, the, exp the explosion of, uh, of excitement was incredible. It turned out that our lap time was about a minute quicker than uh, any uh, hydrogen electric car has done here in the past. So I think all the guys and the TU in Delft has, uh, has a lot of reasons to be extremely proud. And we found out about the, the Supercar Challenge. We decided that it would be the best platform to, to really try the, the hydrogen electric technology in, in a real race. Um, so yeah, that's where we started the development of the Forza 7. In the end we came to uh, an LMP3 chassis, which, is the, which was the best compromise between having our own uh, freedom in terms of packaging and things that we could develop, and uh, a certified uh, safety cell, so to say, uh, so we could guarantee the safety of our, of our drivers. 
car was entered in the Super Challenge uh, for the Gamma Racing Days in 2017. It was a really big achievement because it was a real, like, really the first time that a zero emission car could race for so long in a normal race against combustion cars. It was a real sense of, uh, of achieving something historical. In the process of racing with the Forza 7, we figured out there were a lot of things that we could improve. So yeah, that's why we, why we started to, to, to give a big update to the, to the platform, which became the Forza 8. It had improved cooling systems and we could therefore also be a lot more competitive. And the goal for the Forza 8 was really to, to, to win that, uh, uh, the Super Challenge in, in, in the respective class that we entered. Uh, in the end, in 2019, we were able to enter two races, uh, both on Zandvoort and on the Gamma Racing Days in, in Assen. We were able to get your second place, and uh, that was uh, that was unique. I mean, uh, that was uh, uh, all the blood, sweat and tears that went in, into this project really paid out at that moment. So that was really great. Yeah. Well, when we started, uh, we had the F8, which had shown what it could do. And it had been iterated upon uh, a number of times already. Um, so it would be difficult to get much more performance out of that car and we wanted to get a lot more performance out of the car because we want to reach the GT class that's that's the goal that we set even though it was still a large step and that it would give many challenges along the road our models quickly showed that we would need around twice the power that simple power requirement actually branched out to so many other subsystems that needed to be improved we needed to redesign a lot of components. Some components could not meet our requirements and some components just needed to be smaller. We did this by designing it ourselves, but also working a lot in collaboration with our partners and being able to put that in more or less the same space as the first eight is a challenge. To give you an idea of the complexity of one subsystem, it's maybe good to zoom in on the bodywork. Uh, this is a uh, fully custom design which uh, has to balance enough aerodynamic efficiency and enough downforce to get us quickly around the track, but also trying to maximize mass flow to the radiators to keep the car cool. The latter is very difficult because we're breaking here with the conventional race car design. In conventional race car design, the power unit produces the heat at a way higher temperature, making a lot more difference with the ambient air. And this is why it's such a challenge for us, because the fuel cell operates at a way lower temperature than a conventional power unit. So zooming in on embedded systems is a part of it, is the central processing stack. This is the brain of the car, which collects the inputs of the driver and data of over 400 centers spread all over the car. Via complex software, this is handed to our control systems, which uh, manipulate every subsystem in our car to get the fastest lap times and the highest performance out of the car. These are only two subsystems of the car. Uh, so when you zoom out, this gives an idea of the sheer magnitude and the sheer complexity of this project. The reason that we can do what we do here at Forza is because of the incredible determination that lies within every single team member and also by the huge investment in time that they put into the project.
Next to that, we have so many partners that have been with us for many, many years. Uh, and they support us with our technical knowledge, but also with components. And lastly, we have an incredible large network of alumni. And they continue to help us because they have the knowledge of all the previous teams. And the enthusiasm of these three, and that actually is what makes it possible. Yeah, I mean, so there's so much passion behind it and, and people work so hard for it. And to actually see that, that it, it, it comes to life, that, that, that's really great. Yeah, we still have an incredible challenge ahead of us uh, in testing and actually racing the car. But uh, yeah, I have all the confidence in my team. And seeing Forza 9 now physically taking shape in front of us, yeah, that just makes me really, really proud.